Hey, hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you want to know how I make this Final Fantasy inspired look, then keep on watching. I already removed my makeup and now I'm going to prep my skin with the Derma Shield foam. Just apply it and then I will have to wait for five minutes. In the meantime, I will pop on my wig cap and put in my lenses and I'll do that off camera. So here we are. I already popped some a primer on my eyelids for the eyeshadows. But first I need to apply my brows. I have to apologize for my poofy eyes. I have a bad case of hay fever today. So after I applied some nudes on my eyelids, I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of eyeshadow glitter. Make sure that it doesn't get into your eyes. That's not a very nice feeling, especially when you have lenses in. Just to have a little bit of a sparkle. Now you can really see how poofy my eyes are. <laughs> we finish the rest of the makeup later on. But first we are going to apply the prosthetics. And this time I use... Um, silicone prosthetics and I'm going to apply them with uh, some uh, prosade and a q-tip and to melt down the thick barrier I will use some acetone and a q-tip. First I need to see where I want to pop the first uh, prosthetic. This one is a little cross. seems about right and then I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on the prosthetic and a little bit of glue on my skin so it sticks nice and firm so once it's dried clear I will press down the prosthetic I start in the middle and work outwards to make sure there are no creases or little bumps then I take my Q-tip and a little bit of acetone and melt down the barrier. Do not use too much acetone because it's quite an aggressive substance. Make sure you don't get it into your eyeballs. So we quickly move on to the cheek pieces. Same procedure, thin, la uh, thin um, a layer of glue on the prosthetic, thin layer on your skin, let it dry clear, press it on, and then melt uh, the edges away. Sorry for that. You know the deal, so I removed the rest of the edges off camera. And my eyes keep on being poofy. Now it is time for foundation. I use a foundation that's a few shades lighter than my skin. And I apply it with a beauty sponge. Just dabbing it all over my face. And trying to remove the redness of my little runny nose and runny eyes <laughs> just dabbing it I used two layers of foundation two thin layers of foundation to build it up finally the red is almost gone And of course, after you've finished your face, you need to do the rest of the body. I use a huge a beauty sponge, especially for your body. And I do my neck and shoulder area to have a nice cohesive feel. And then I set my under eyes with some translucent powder. So that will prevent the creasing. Ta -da. Then I take a shimmer, body shimmer powder or face shimmer powder 
and dust my whole face with it. So it's nice and set and I have this nice porcelain like a look. Then I add a little bit of blush again with a little bit of shimmer in it and I apply it on my cheeks, on the tip of my nose and around my mouth. The camera is not picking it up as well as I'd liked but hey, we gotta do. I decided to add some more <laughs> shimmering powder. You can also use a highlighter for this. I'm just building it up. Don't forget to do your shoulders and your neck area. Then it's time for some false lashes and I do that off camera. And then I forgot to pop on the camera again. So <laughs> I missed, of you missed the painting part. I use the Star Blend Black from Meron and I painted the prosthetics a black. To have a kind of a dragony feel to it. Then I'm going to use some Vaseline as an adhesive and a nice a glitter, cosmetic glitter. Do not use the craft glitter because those are really sharp and can damage your skin. So I apply a thin layer of Vaseline and I take my stippling brush from Titanic and I apply the beautiful greenish bluish glitter. And it sparkles really nice in the sunlight. So if you go out with this look into the sun, you are sparkling like a diamond. Dab it on, don't brush it on. Otherwise you remove the black. You don't want that. You can see a little bit of the sparkle. Okay. So we do the other side as well. Have a little bit of a gray fingerprint in my neck, had to remove that. Then it is time for the lips. First, I'm gonna prime them so they are nice and smooth. So the old butter lip gloss will slide on just like that. So priming them. And then I have this nice purple pinkish butter glass. Looks more purple on camera, which works just perfectly. So you have nice and sparkly lips. Perfect. Then I popped on my wig and the accessories are made by yours truly. And if you're interested in seeing how we make props, let us know in the comments down below. And maybe we are going to make some nice videos on that subject in the near future. I really hope you liked this video and you can show us that by giving us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and hope to see you guys next time. Same place, different video. Love you. Bye.